today we're in Great Yarmouth, a place known for its seaside amusements, holiday parks and a summer destination for many in the East Anglian region. But aside from the bright lights, fish and chips and amusements, is a long and interesting history, with many of its buildings related to ghost stories and hauntings. And tonight, we've come to one such place, the Elizabethan House. The house was built sometime around 1596 by local merchant Benjamin Cowper, who during his lifetime acted as town bailiff, a member of parliament, and held a number of other prestigious positions within the community. As his wealth grew, so did his desire to show this off, extending the house twice, once in 1603 and again in 1610, coming to encompass a number of singular dwellings into one building. It was in 1635 that John Carter, another local merchant, purchased a house with his brother-in-law, Thomas Manthorpe. Oliver Cromwell, who was good friends with Carter, was often said to visit the house, and with civil war brewing, the building became a regular meeting place for parliamentarians. John Carter passed away in 1667, 15 years after the end of the Civil Wars, and so his son, also named John Carter, inherited the house. Over 10 families proceeded to live in the building over the following years, right up until 1949, when the last resident, Mary Eldred, bequeathed the house to the National Trust, whose possession it's been in ever since. It's thought that some of these former residents are today haunting the building, with both staff and visitors to the house witnessing people dressed in period clothing, the sound of footsteps walking through empty rooms, and cold spots spontaneously appearing around the building. Whenever we investigate somewhere, we always look for reasons why a place might be haunted, and I certainly think with the Elizabethan house, it could just be the sheer age of it. Not to mention the amount of alterations and additions and changes to the building structure itself. Could this in some way have released some kind of energy or disrupted any spirits preserved here? I think as well, the amount of people that have lived in the building, going back I think there's over 14 families that have lived here and it goes to that thing as well of what makes a house a home. You know, this isn't just an empty shell, it's not an industrial building. This was a place that was loved and cared for by various different families. And today, obviously, the building is now a museum, and the amount of artefacts that have been bought here from other places, is there any energies that could be attracted to them? I think what I'd like to gain from tonight is just to see if there is anything going on here, and whether it seems to be sort of a residual haunting, people going about their daily activities, or whether there is any kind of intelligence to it. For our investigation, we were joined by Jamie and his team from Paranormal Torch. We decided that to reduce any cross-contamination and prevent areas becoming overcrowded, we would split up into two teams, Jamie's team beginning downstairs and ourselves upstairs in the opposite end of the building. Within minutes, Sophie began hearing a strange clicking sound coming from the end of one of the corridors. We were quick to debunk this as nothing more than the sound of a radiator calling. However, it did lead us into one of the former bedrooms, where shortly after, we began experiencing activity. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, I just got chills. Really? Yeah. Are you by the window? I got really strange vibes, like, from this. You come in the room with us if there's someone there. Let us know who you are. Something's... I heard that. Something's... Something's... Shh, shh, shh. Someone outside of the car. It wasn't that? Did you hear that? It was like. So like foot. Moving. Yeah, I thought it was footsteps on the wood there. Yeah, it was on wood, definitely yeah. on wood. How weird is that as well? After I just said that, a freaking, like very bizarre vibes from just this side. <coughs> Take that. But, but just lay it down on the floor so it's not moving. 
Yeah. I think we just heard you, if you're over there. Whoever's in there, can you understand us? Do you know that we're here? If so, there's a whole load of different objects and items all over those counters. There's a pram there. If you could move or do something with some of those, we'd appreciate it so we know you can hear us. With no further activity occurring, we made our way to what's become known as the Conspiracy Room. During the Civil War, Great Yarmouth was a parliamentarian stronghold, and undoubtedly many of the merchants and previous occupiers of the house would have shared these views. In an attempt to stir up activity, I began speaking from a royalist point of view, and although the language I'm using is far from anything spoken in the 17th century, I was curious to see if any key words or phrases would trigger a response. Are there any supporters of the parliamentarians up here? Probably got here with so much noise. Yeah, it's r yeah, real a lot of noise from the road. Got the wind, the road, the sign. Yeah. Or well, what would you say if I said, long live Charles I? May his reign be long and righteous. You got anything to say about that? It looked like there was just show it under the door then. But I don't know if you No, because I can see your shadow and it doesn't go under the door. It's really like, but it's really like solid, just like a quick. What's the noise? Is there anyone out here? Feel free to come in and join us if there is anyone here. I was considering someone out there, but then. No, not only that, we've got a camera there. Hey, uh, no, but you'll have heard if anyone's been passed. Can you actually see the light? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a bit. Oh. I can see because I have not let LCD screen in my face. I can see where the light is breaking through. Dim the wheat. And then there was just like a solid. Do you think I should be saying such things in. That's not like a suction. Really. <laughs> what, what was that? My narrow saw does that. But... Right, well, whenever I'm speaking. What? I don't know if I'm speaking. It starts happening. Yeah. That was weird. Maybe it's you. There's no way that that was... No, there's no way that so was such a good... Shh, shh, right, just keep going. Okay, okay, yeah. Do you think I should be on my way out of this building? Door. Is it the floor? No, it's not the floor. For so having support of Charles, the king, I support him in every way. And I think death to all those who don't. Have you nothing to say? That was really weird, that first. Yeah. That was like, almost trying to like knock down the door to come in. Well, I don't know if it was like pulled it, almost like. Like stay in there, sort of thing. I thought it was like, like boom against the yeah. door to try and come in, sort of thing. Well, if you wish me to prevent spouting such blasphemy in the house of thee, then you have to do much more. 
to extinguish my presence from the building. Charge through that door, come and stop him. The blood of all those who have perished in these wars is upon the hands of the parliamentarians. Treachery of the Kingdom of Britain. <gasps> it's the fucking shadow on the door again. Was it, was it, was it? Oh, I didn't see it. <sighs> like, I've been proper focusing on it and the little hole in the keyhole, just like... <sighs> Whatever you're saying... <sighs> yeah, keep going with it. I'm going to, I'm going to put this... Although the delivery of my words may seem rather flamboyant at times, I attempted to maintain a high energy, almost theatrical atmosphere, which up until this point seemed to be working. In hopes of capturing the shadow under the door on camera, James placed his camera down facing it, and although it's very hard to see due to the low lighting, we we'll try to enhance the footage as best we can. I hear many conspire within these walls, conspire against the king, conspire against his methods and his belief, and those who conspire against the king conspire against Great Britain, conspire against all that is good and all that is holy. And you conspire against the royalists, I myself am one of. Someone I should imagine you would wish banished from your house. And if banished you wish me to be, then by all means, leave me out and throw me in the streets. I can see the shadow. What is it? I don't know. It's literally moving underneath the door. Is it moving now? Yeah. Is it out there now? That's so weird, yeah. It's like something it's like something just formed in the, in the middle of the Is it still there? Oh! Open the door, open the door. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Jesus. What is that? There's nothing there. What is that? What is that? There's no one here, nothing here. Is it on camera? Yeah, I got it on camera. There's nothing here. They were down, they were in the room oh, down, yeah, there. Yeah, down there. They're down there. No one's upstairs, have they? No. Why was that? Yeah. No, well, no one's been up. You've been in another room, have you? Oh, we're getting there. Well, I, I, we've been in there for the last two minutes going in there. Yeah, that yeah, was longer than two minutes no. ago the first time, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we just had it happen just now. Did you yeah. hear someone come upstairs? No, no. No, there was like a shadow underneath the door. It's like, we've had three times like shadows walking back and forth underneath oh, really? the door. Oh, we've oh, just got it on video. Camera's on video. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's We're literally filming this wait, it's, I got close to the door, so it's still there, still there, still there. Open the door, yeah. nothing. I mean, I don't believe, we've, none of us have gone past here, so... No, not even there. Like, this yeah. is like against the other side yeah, of the door. So, yeah, let's... let's Shall we do... We had the... You did this up front of that, did you? No. We had the, the, uh, well, we, we had the door like slammed. Why don't we, why don't we put, well. put the camera in front yeah, of the camera on both sides of it? Well, I was just thinking if we can yeah. put go behind the door in there and we can see where the shadow created from then. Put, put the camera on the floor like you did before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the full spectrum's been on that all the time. So yeah, I, I, I think you were still in the room when it happened last. We returned to the room and decided to try and recreate the effect with myself walking past the door and Sophie and James inside the room and this seemed to match up very closely with what we'd witnessed moving under the door. So it seemed honestly like whatever you were saying was, working. was when mm. things were stirring up. It's like it was almost hit, it was like it heard something in the room and came to be like what are they what talking about in there? You can't say things like that. Like, tell you what, it's, it's strange as well that it's not only that we had the door make that booming noise, but it's also footstep, like shadows under the door. Like it's all central around that door. Yeah. It's not even like, it's not like we had something happen with a chair, there's something over there. It's all been around it's that area. It's all been around there. And you think if someone's walking up to the door to come in, that that close to the door, the next thing would be if they're coming in. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what we had happen, the door. Went... Would you like me to keep 
continue speaking such filth. I get this really weird feeling that, like, I don't know how to put it into words. Like, it wants to come in here, but it's not allowed. Mm. And I don't know why. It sounds mental, but it just can't, like, the way... Well, so, so thank you. Like I said before, we're in another room, going on strange hunches of things. See if, if you, if you still communicate into it, kind of like invite it in in some way, mm. then maybe, because everything we've had happen so far has been at the threshold of the room. Yeah, it's getting that point of it to come in. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. It just, whatever is, or whoever is out there, it just feels like they're not allowed. Please don't feel any need to stand outside and be merely an observer. So I know we are but strangers in your home and we have no ill will towards yourself or any of the occupiers of such abode. So please join us. Do come in. Chills. So have I. <laughs> yeah. Please take a seat. Like so intense. Literally. Let's just keep going Within. with it. Yeah, 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 keep going, keep going. I wonder if you may be curious about some of the contraptions we have displayed upon the table. So weird. It feels like it. I, I, like it physically feels like something's out in the room with us. I can feel, like the air is actually getting cold. Yeah. Every, everything right now, my brain is like, nah, nah, nah. No, nothing's been, brain, un and nothing's been under the door since. No, but my brain is literally just like. Right, let's keep going with it. Honestly, the, the chills flowing through like let's, all the way through my neck. And keep going. As I mentioned, the contraptions upon the table from which you dine, I know not a satisfactory place. Luke, Luke, Luke. right hand over here, over here. What do you mean? I literally, I was watching you there, and suddenly it was like there was a presence of someone here, and I heard the, I heard like the floor creak. It, it's like as if my mind just picked up there was someone there, like just yeah. zoned into it. Peripheral vision. Yeah, not even, not even that, but like peripheral sense of like there's yeah. someone standing next to you, sort of thing. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please join us. Enter the centre of the room. Don't feel obliged to stand at the edge. Join us around the table as we discuss such matters. The table will be round as equal we all are. So take a seat. Refreshments shall be coming shortly. I'm getting the kind of vibes of maybe that's not even the kind of route, like you, because you've invited it in for this kind of confrontational thing. I'm wondering if now it's almost in a sense of, yeah, my hands are like, cool. Now it's in a sense Cold. of, yeah, just suddenly freezing. Now it's in a sense of like, it wants to have that, you arguing your side of it kind of thing. You asked it to come in and kind of convert you. This is really strange. I understand. Feeling like so drained of energy now as well. What's it breathing? Well, we've got a whole degree temperature drop from here and over there. Yeah, it's freezing over here. There's windows all along there though. Just like on the table. Just made a noise. That might be the trifle. What's the what's the noise of the trifle when that? Yeah. Yeah, it's very slight. It's so cold here. Oh my god. What? What? It went to four point six degrees. From what? 
It's now up to it's now back up to sort of fifteen. It just dropped in one hit. To four point six degrees. We had just witnessed a 10 degree temperature drop in the corner of the room for which we could find no logical explanation. Numerous people who have visited the house over the years claim to have experienced feeling cold spots moving through areas of the building and we believe that we may have just documented this on camera. That's... Yo, sorry. That's not the camera, no? No, that was that. Oh, you're definitely in here with us then. This is so weird. This is really, really strange. Oh my god, it's so cold here now. It is. That was a ten, ten degree, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, ten degree temperature drop. What's that? I'm getting chills. I was gonna say chills on my back, like. Did, did another one just come in? Maybe as this, you open This feels so, feels like I've dropped ecstasy. <laughs> like the amount of chills I've getting. You're in a, in a, in a, yeah. It feels like the first one came in and is here, now the next one has just turned up. Mm. That, the door, you know the door moved. Is it the like, like knocking to come in and we're just, we're not hearing the knock, we're just. What? That was so weird. What? That's one of the weirdest things. What, like, what happened? When I turned, the door was open, like wide open with the light coming through, and well, I looked back into close. That. Yeah. Oh. I just saw it for a second, I, like as if like that wouldn't make sense. The door would have to be past me. I, I literally looked this way, and the door was open, fully lit there, for a second. Almost like you'd seen a different. Like I just saw the door. Are you around the table at the moment? I was just saying about the door, like it's like they're coming in, opening the yeah. door. And I just, and it's like I saw it. But from their point of view, maybe. Can you move around the table, please? Please take a seat. Gentlemen, now we'd be seated at the table. Our discussions may begin. So, please tell me, present, are myself, Luke Tabram. Sophie Nash. And James Fusey. Please state your names, and our meeting can commence. Now, here we sit, and are we to discuss matters such as trade? For the ports have been extremely busy as of late. That that trifield going. I wonder if that's drinks on the tape. Being reached for. In. That's weird. That's a weird thought. I like that, but that's a weird thought. Please take a drink. But alas, matters must be discussed. See the fact that. That didn't go at that time. It almost feels like that's a kind of against you. Yeah, they don't want to cheers to you. Mm. That's oh. that's that's the feeling I've had about this entire thing. Is that oh, there goes the chill again. Am I not part of this table? Am I not of adequate gentry? Well, I may. Have to disagree. 
I know many things, I am all travelled, I know more of the world than any of you gentlemen could ever care to know. Ooh! Ooh! You've angered something there. Oh my god. And you think my arrogance shall be my downfall? It's still going. Well, I beg to differ. I think your ignorance shall be yours. If you think money and wealth... Speak more of the king, that seems to get him. How fuck, how hard is that going? It's still going. You think money and wealth can buy you a life? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, you know nothing of the world. Still People going. buy life. How you treat your fellow man, how you treat the peasant and the pauper. You sit here talking about chips coming in and out. You create a, a wealth of house around you. But yet, do you see into the future? Do you see what dark days await? Do you see merriment until your final days? <laughs> the king will bring all that. So please, any response, any reply to my small speech? Anything you I, 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 I get the, I get the sense that you've almost like shut them down, like you're now holding the table. I do hold the table. There was that outrage at what you said, but then <laughs> what you said afterwards almost you've like, you're now so, in control. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It's almost like, well, that was going really high. There was like uproar like roar yeah, 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 do you know what I mean like, like it's, it just feels like I can kind of like hear it or could hear it and then like now whatever you said they've gone oh well right then you know do you know what I mean like it, everything I'm saying just feels like I've lost the plot but you say that it, but that's I'm, I'm how totally it feels. on the same that's exactly what I got it's what like, I'm getting from it it's so weird I don't want to have something to say Say there, there's this oddness as well of whenever we've said something and it's almost like that's yeah we're on the money then yeah. something happens it's yeah. really weird it keeps evolving yeah yeah it's not like it's just in a well, well in a weird way look now if you've now if we if okay if we oh, this is so bizarre if we now take from position that you now control the table now go for that amendment stage of it make friends yeah okay. Offer them some... So, gentlemen, you feel I may have enlightened you in ways that maybe you weren't aware of in the past, and may I say you've enlightened me to finery, to a different way of life. But may I suggest that we place our differences aside and meet in the middle, meet in no man's land, and make a friendship, a bond, that may not just transcend our visit to this building, but maybe transcend life itself. And with that, gentlemen, may you all stand and a cheers and a toast to ourselves in this life and the next. So wait for the chairs or the slides. Please. And you're. They're all getting up. <gasps> get up. Yeah, look how strong that's going through as well. And your journey be. What is that? That's something like four or five. May your journey onwards be filled with nothing but prosperity. And well, thank you, it's been a pleasure. Wait, wait, hold it into that. I almost get the sense that they're like standing up, putting their coats on, like nodding to you. It's like a slow leave. That heat has come back to the room as well. The warmth has come back. <coughs> it's not actually cold anymore. That's so weird. It's completely normal temperature, it was over it. Look, that's, there's, there's normal temperature. 
After closing our session in the conspiracy room, the activity and strange atmosphere appeared to drop off. With the evening pushing on, it was time to change areas of the building, with Paranormal Torch investigating upstairs and ourselves moving downstairs. We began in the scullery, with Sophie dressing in a period's maid costume and acting out preparing a meal to see if this would entice forwards any spirits. However, despite our best efforts, nothing unusual was documented. We later moved on into a different room, where within less than 10 minutes, similarly to upstairs, we all believed we saw someone walking past the door. They're upstairs. Tell me you saw that. I saw it that time, yeah. It was enough that the light near you... I thought they were coming, I thought they were coming to the door downstairs. It was enough that the light, uh, there was a shadow that moved past I you. I wonder if you'll be able to see it on his, it depends what position his thing is. But... Are you all right, Did any of you just come downstairs? No. Well, we were doing something What, 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 what? Well, There's like a... Really loud noise in there. Um, yeah, I heard. But you turn the light on because someone's in there, I'll tell you. There's someone in there. There's no one down here. And where, 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 where? We, we, we were just sitting in the, the front room bit. Yeah. And yeah. It's like no, clear as day, really like loud shadows loud. all moving outside the door, like someone's you wandering around. Me and Luke both were just standing there watching it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Just check it out. Sophie thinks you've just seen someone in the kitchen. Well, I heard someone, but it sounded like a real person. That's Can I turn the light on? Well, yeah. like, no, no one moved any lights or anything down here. Just want to check if nothing's falling. So weird. That was so clear. Well? That one picked it up. I bloody hope so. The sound that Sophie had just heard was indeed captured on the dictaphone we had left recording in the scullery, and interestingly, just prior to the sound, a strange breath can also be heard on the recording. Did any of you just come downstairs? No. Did any of you just come downstairs? No. Despite looking at almost every object, cabinet and door in the scullery, we were unfortunately not able to find the source of the sound, and soon after this, we drew our investigation to a close. The Elizabethan house was one of our more interesting investigations in recent years, not only for the amount of activity captured, but also the type of activity. Previous phenomena experienced here included the sound of footsteps, sightings of apparitions and cold spots spontaneously appearing, all three of which we were able to document. What we experienced here, however, is just one side of what occurred that evening, so head over to Paranormal Torture's YouTube channel and explore what Jamie and his team encountered at the Elizabethan house.